Why do you want to hurt your wallet like that? It's not, it's, that's not necessary. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you could not tell, we are in a, another new location and that is for a very important reason. It's back to school time. I'm actually in my first week of school, which some of you all may know as syllabus week. That doesn't exist here. However, a lot of you all will be ready to go into your own first week of school, or maybe you've already started it. Either way, today we're gonna to go over a couple of tips on how to prepare for a new semester and some things that you can do. So, the first one, which is a big one, also just because I'm a planner, I like planning, so there's that. But write everything down. Now, whether you choose to do this physically or digitally will be up to you. However, I like to do both. So first, digitally. I use my digital calendar, specifically Google calendars, in order to keep up with all of the major events. So I have my class schedule in here. I have any dates that I need for rehearsals or events with friends, any doctor's appointments or anything of that nature that I need to write down. And I also keep big deadlines such as tests, final papers, um, midterms, things like that. However, I don't keep my daily or weekly assignments in there just because it's something that I don't necessarily need to be reminded about. And that's a nice feature of having the digital um, copy is that you can actually schedule for all of that information to be sent to you as a reminder on your phone, which is great, especially if you're like me. Uh, another thing that I use um, my digital format for is keeping to-do lists, just because again, you have that whole notification function. And the app I like to use, which also, it has a, dig a digital, it has a phone app and a, laptop app and I think they have a site yeah they have a site too but I don't really use a site anymore but it's called Wonderlist and it's really nice because you can actually create different folders and organize your material that way which is really nice I actually write down all of the things that I need to do it's kind of like a brain dump for me almost just things that aren't necessarily related to my courses or things that I just think of throughout the day when I don't really have the time to get out my planner and write it down there. And it's really nice because I'm actually able to keep up with all of my stuff and get reminders when I want to get things done if it's just something small that I didn't think about at the beginning of the week. Now, physically, I also like to keep track of things. So I have my planner, which some of you all may have seen before. This is the spread that I've chosen for January. This is the weekly layout and it just, it's, it's superhero themed this month. I hope that you like it. It kind of mimics a passion planner, but I've created the spread all on my own. I felt like some of the other options that I had seen didn't really accommodate all of the things that I wanted to be able to do and also the times that I would be doing it. So as you can see, I have my times going from 7 a.m. to midnight. And that's just because I work pretty late. And even then, sometimes that might not be able to encompass everything that I need to do. So what I would do on this page is actually, um, I still write down all of my classes and everything in here, and I color coordinate it so that it matches the page I'm gonna show you in a bit. And also, hopefully the colors that I have in my calendar. Now, as I was talking about before, again, I have a brain dump, both a physical and a digital one. Now, the physical one is actually related specifically to my classes, and I have some personal things, but these are like big, important things that I need to do, not just like little things that I've thought of throughout the week. And what I'll normally do is write these all out at the beginning of the week. This week, clearly, I didn't have any because it's the first week of classes, so I don't have anything written here, but I'm going to go ahead and write down a couple of extra things that I need to do just because they're important for those classes. Now, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is actually keeping all of your information on your classes together. I say this because it's really easy to get confused about which class has what. 
And what I mean by that is like when office hours are, what your teacher's emails are, just so that it's quick and accessible. I have my schedule page first off and then but I haven't filled in the names of the classes or anything because you all don't need to know that. And then as you can see, I also have this page where I have all of that information together. Now I was also thinking about having individual spreads for each class where I would list out the objectives and things that I need to do for each of those like together, but I don't really feel a need for that as I have my monthly spreads and don't judge me because I was being lazy and I didn't actually feel like doing this. So I kind of took the um, the monthly planners from my toll notebooks and just kind of wrote down the months up there. But it's fine. We'll survive. It'll be great. Hopefully. But anyway, yeah, that's just a great place for me to write down and be able to see everything that I need to do for that month at a glance. And so that's really nice. Now speaking of that toll notebook because it's a disc amount system similar to my planner. Also, I don't know, have you all seen like the front of this? It says, um, it's the same quote that's on my Instagram page. It always seems impossible until it's done. I just like that quote. I think it's really cool. And I also, you all probably can't tell, especially given the wonderful array of colors behind me but I really like black and white and I wear a lot of black and white especially patterns and so I just thought it was really cute but back to what I was saying get the tip number three is to get supplies that inspires you I know some of you all are gonna be like wait what and I also understand that school supplies can be expensive I personally find it a motivator to actually want to pick up those things and be excited to work on my classes and stuff because I don't like also I just love stationery and planning and stuff if you couldn't tell already hope you could but yeah just because it makes me more motivated to want to do things and also it makes me feel better knowing that it's aesthetically pleasing as well this not only oh, and so because of that I have these disc bound systems similar to the planner that I have. They're toll, I got them on discount at Office Depot. And it's really nice because since I have engineering classes, but I'm also taking fewer classes than normal this semester, I can easily treat this like a binder, but it not be as big and bulky. And I can move everything around however I see fit. And if I find out that one class is taking up more or two classes in one of the notebooks are taking up way more space than the others, then I can just easily switch everything around and I don't have to wait, worry about wasting paper and, um, and notebooks and it's just annoying. Another thing that I want to mention is figuring out how, figuring out your writing style, like what kind of writing utensils you like. I personally like the, to okay, this is not sponsored by Toll. I just like their stuff. Okay guys? Okay. But yeah, so I like the Toll gel pens just because I think they write really smoothly and really nicely. And I also recently got a big pack of markers just so that I can do this pseudo bullet journaling thing. If you couldn't tell, it's kind of like, a, my, my planner is kind of like a pseudo bullet journal. Half of it's drawn out and the other half, especially those weekly and monthly spreads are not because that's a lot of work and I'm a college student. So you know, solutions, innovation, but I still want it to be cute and I want it to be customizable, so we're doing a mashup. Yay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> this next one is so important. It will save you all of the money. And we know you like money. It's going to save you all of the money. You ready? Look for your books online first. Like, that seems like a really simple and obvious one, but there are some people who don't, and I'm just like, why? hurt you why do you want to hurt your wallet like that it's not it's that's not necessary there are lots of PDFs and things um, floating around of like old versions of books or even the new versions depending on what they are and also even if you can't get a free PDF it's often a lot cheaper to get the online or digital copy of a book and that way you don't have to worry about spending $200 on each book, which is annoying. It's really annoying. And so that's just nice because then you don't have to worry about that. And it saves you hell money. It's great. 
And then you also don't have to worry about carrying around big old books. You can just have them whenever you want. Now, of course, it's not always possible to do this. In those cases where you can do that, I would recommend trying to see if you can rent your books unless you have classes where the book that you're using is going to go on to some of the next courses that you're going to take, such as in my major, Chemical Engineering, they recommend that we buy our books just because we'll be using them for future courses as well. Now, my fifth and final tip. Stock up on food and any other supplies that you're going to want for this next like month or so, just so that you don't have to be running off to the store to get different supplies and food and snacks and all these kinds of things because first month of school is stressful. You're gonna be trying to figure everything out. You're gonna have all of these new commitments that you didn't have over the break and you're just gonna have people pulling at you every which way just because you're back. And especially if you've been gone for study abroad because you have to reacclimate to your old college campus and it's interesting especially when you're trying to not only get used to the classes but used to being back on campus it's a big thing but anyway guys I hope this video helped you I hope that you are able to use these tips so that your semester goes or rather starts off smoothly and I will see you guys in the next video I hope that you liked this little planning series and maybe we'll continue. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I have to go to a rehearsal. So, bye!